All right, you guys. I'm gonna show you how I do a unmodified uh, regulator bypass. So this is a regulator body from Ram 17, how it comes uh, from Vulcan or Milsig, wherever you get it from. So there's two versions. You're gonna get one with this brass orifice or a set screw. You have the brass orifice. You need a seven millimeter uh, socket. You can easily remove this and it seals with a uh, little black o-ring um, if you have the set screw it is sealed in there with sealant um, some fairly strong stuff so what I had done on my other one was boil some water in a little shallow dish sit this upside down once um, it sat for a couple minutes, I just used the appropriate size Allen screw, or sorry, Allen key, and undid it. And then you're left with uh, this empty body like this. So the bypass, I have simplified uh, a whole lot from since the beginning. I slowly worked backwards and found out um, what you do and don't need. So first thing, if you're taking apart your M17, obviously you need to remove your uh, your air chamber and there's also a 14 millimeter nut, brass nut in here that you need to remove and dump out all the guts so you'd be left with this sort of empty shell. Once you have your empty shell, take your brass piston here. This is a first assembly for this so I gotta, I gotta lube everything up here. So, I'll lube up your O-ring. And just push it in there. You don't have to bottom it out. Because it actually, Sorry, just need to grab a napkin here. <clears throat> the reason that I don't use the spacer or any of the washers anymore is, well, I should have showed that to you before I pushed it in there. If I can get it out again here without. <sighs> of course, now it's all slippy. Almost got it, there we go is when your cap is threaded all the way in you can see that this piston can't it actually hits the bottom of this cap hits the threaded the outer barrel here and can't go any further so it's not even necessary to have anything up inside uh, <coughs> this velocity cap so essentially now all you're doing Push your piston down and take your cap. You don't need your uh, screw anymore. It's not a good idea to leave it in there. Uh, put it in a parts tray or whatever you got. Uh, so once that's in there, carefully thread your cap on. Done. That's bypassed. That's how simple it is now. Um, obviously, you need to reassemble the rest of it. So we will put together my the PRV here. So I have an older one here that uses this flat washer. I know some of the new ones come with a, an O-ring. Um, whichever you got doesn't matter. I don't use the Grimberg screw per se. It's more like I couldn't track something down locally, but uh, so I do the delete a little different. I use this, the M8 set screw down the center. And what that actually allows is, this doesn't need to be Kung Fu tight. 
I just get this started in there. And my hands are fairly oily here. And once once you got the washer in there and you got this in there, just hand tighten it. Good and good and tight. And there you go. That's not gonna leak. Next, you gotta put your bolt back together or your air chamber back on. So um that's your air chamber there. There's a sealing O-ring on the end. So I'm just gonna, it's probably lubed from my last disassembly, but we're gonna do it anyways here. Come on. Just put a little one there. I'm having a hard time squeezing that. Wipe it around, because it has to squish against that surface there. So just put it together. I wipe my hands again here. And this one does have to be tight. So I use an adjustable wrench. Put it on there, adjust it nice and tight so you don't mar this up. Well, it's just I hate when I scratch stuff up, so I do my best not to. And get a good grip on your rig. And tighten it good. And that's all there is to it. So this is a bypass unmodified regular. The next one I'll show is my modified version. So this one is 100% reversible. Um, if it doesn't do what I'm gonna show on a video, uh, then absolutely you can easily just revert back to factory and, uh, and go about your business. Um, I should mention, if you go back to factory, this brass screw, if you have the brass orifice one, is really soft. So when you tighten this this in, it's you know use some uh, use a gentle touch. Um, I have snapped the head off one of these and got it stuck in my regulator body here, and it was a bear to get out. But I did get it out. Um, you got the set screw. It's just it's alloy steel. It's got a drive. It's really easy to to thread back in. But just be careful with this one. 